Hello, um, my name is David Mandel. Welcome to CIS 240L Linux installation and configuration. Um, I'm a little nervous. This is my first video, and um, um, I, yeah, and uh, but we'll see how it goes here. Okay. Um, the, today what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about uh, just how you get started with this course and how this course works. Uh, the first thing you need to do is log on through the Portland Community College uh, website. Um, you'll have an area here called My PCC, which you've probably you're probably already familiar with and uh, you need to log on give your name and password and um, from there what you'll do is you'll um, log on to your area on the PCC website the administrative site down here you'll see an area called desire to learn if you log on to desire to learn uh, that will bring you up onto the um, education, whatever they call these things, education management website thingy. Um, in any case, this will bring you up and it will give you a list of all the courses you're enrolled in that are part of the um, Desire to Learn system. So select our course and um, in my case, this will be a template of the course since I'm still building the course, but um, that will take us to the front page. The front page will have news, which will tell you, give you updates on the course and things that are currently um, um, important. In the beginning here, it gives you a little information on how to start the course. The basic um, thing that you need to know here is keep track of the content tab. That's this tab right over here. That's where most things are listed. Also, print a copy of the schedule, which you will see in a moment under the content tab. A tab. Keep a copy of that because that's what we live and die by, is the, uh, the schedule which I have written. OK, let's go to the content tab. Under the content tab, what you have is a lot of stuff like this. Um, this doesn't quite look right. That's because I'm the administrator for the course. And you won't see these things over here on the right hand side. So let me take a little diversion here. Let me go over here and, um, um, and um, become impersonate a student. I'm going to impersonate stu a student called um, Student Demo. Okay, let me go back to the content tab. This will look more, much more like what you will see. Um, you can, these little buttons here will expand or contract an area. Let's contract a lot of these areas so they look, um, so we're only seeing the very course outline of the course. Um, good enough. We're not going to go down to the end of the course. So that will be good enough. OK. Um, the first area up in here is kind of a generic area on just how online courses work and how the system works. Uh, this was put together by the distance education people. I suggest that you go through it if you've never taken a distance course before. If you're used to the system, there's no need to go through that. The next area is basically the course information, the stuff we're going to talk about in the next few minutes. Um, the way I lay out most of the sections, I hope, if I get these videos actually made, is they will start with a, a introductory video area, which will give you a list of videos to watch um, that give my presentation of the class. 
and um, um, and so you click on the button watch the video you may well want to separate these out into a separate tab on your browser to do that if you press this button which says undock that will bring the whole thing out in a separate tab that will make life easier on you okay um, let's go back here let's go back to content um, and then the rest of the content in a typical section will be um, video presentation and then there'll be a lot of stuff for instructor resources and then there'll be a lab that is your homework and that is the most important part of the class you need to do those um, if you have a choice between doing the labs and doing a lot of reading do the labs that's where all the learning takes place um, I can't emphasize enough the importance of the lab I take a lot of time and effort designing these um, okay let's go back to um, and the instructor resources I leave um, for you to look at or not to look at um, I use a lot of these in making the video presentations and in other aspects of the class let's go back here there's a welcome message um, welcome you're here uh, what we want to do in this class is learn to be a Linux or Unix systems administrator we want to also learn about the open source community both uh, our locally nationally and and internationally um, we want to learn to install and configure Linux computers um, we want to learn when to use open source software and when it's better to use uh, proprietary software um, and we basically want to learn that open source goes a long ways in your life it's a lot more than just software um, and we'll learn that in the course of the class um, about your instructor um, I'll let you read this um, let's see if I can find let me uh, pan around here I'm actually looking for something um, well let's see whoops Um, well, we'll make something. Okay. Okay, this is basically a video of me. Hello! <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm here, and, um, I'll be here forever mostly you will see the screens during the class you won't probably see a lot of me which seems a little funny and I probably won't see a lot of you which seems even even stranger to me um, I do have a little trouble with these presentations when um, I can't see you so please keep in contact keep as much response as you can with me because uh, it really helps me out and that helps you Okay, next section is the syllabus. The syllabus is, uh, this explains about the class. Um, briefly here, it will say, uh, this is a distance learning class, so there are no in-class sessions. Um, everything is done over the web. It does say that what we do have, what I am going to have is a couple, class tutorials every week using the uh, distance learnings online system called illuminate or actually I think they just renamed that to call it blackboard collaborate but I still use the term illuminate um, and it's an online classroom these classes are optional uh, you don't have to come but I it would be nice if you come I think you'll get more out of the class if you do um, 
because it gives you a chance to ask questions. It gives me a chance to get feedback. The sessions will be uh, from 6 to 8 p.m. on Monday evenings. Um, and that class, I'll try to cover the material that is in the textbook or for that week. And then we'll have a tutorial on Friday evenings from 6 to 8 p.m. And uh, they're strictly optional. Um, and I may have a few office hours. Well, I have office hours. Uh, you can call me or get a hold of me most any time. But uh, some of these we can do using Illuminate, or we can do them using Skype, or we can do them using a telephone, or I can come to Portland and uh, meet you at one of the PCC campuses. Sylvania is probably the easiest, but um, um, but uh, Cascade or Southeast campus isn't hard either, or Newburgh. Um, um, Rock Creek's a little bit out of my way, but I can even do that. Uh, I've been there once or twice. Um, Okay, uh, contacting me. Um, best way to contact me is telephone me. Do not be all shy. Do not feel shy about telling, telephoning me. I respond best to phone calls, and um, um, you know, don't feel shy about calling me. Um, in the least, um, the next best method is probably by using my email account. Um, my email is pcc at davidmandel.com. Uh, I say in cases of life and death, use my home phone um, or my mobile phone. Uh, use those anytime you want. Um, I copied this from my predecessor. Um, my, my home phone or my mobile phone is just great. The truth is my office phone is usually just forwarded to my cell phone, so it's always with me. Um, my Skype name is D Mandel. Um, and, and feel free to contact me after the class. Um, um, you know, open source people become lifelong friends. Uh, you become part of the community. I'm part of the community. Um, you know, people contact one another. I also uh, coordinate the Portland Linux Unix group um, and I want to make sure that you feel welcome to come to that um, and to use its resources. Uh, course description. Basically we're trying to help you become a Linux systems administrator if you want to be one. Um, Learning outcomes, we won't discuss. Prerequisites, it's really nice if you know some Linux or Unix at the command line level. Um, if you don't, you'll have to work harder in the class. Um, and uh, in any case, you will know it by the end of that term. And um, um, also, my learning philosophy is not to judge people too much by how much they know. Um, as much as by how much they progress. Um, so if you don't know everything perfectly uh, to begin with, um, that gives you a great opportunity for improvement. And that's what I really look at. Um, I, I want everybody to learn something from the class. If you start at a low level, um, You'll have to. Yeah, it will be a different class than if you start at a higher level. Uh, likewise, uh, when you do the labs and stuff, um, make the labs challenging for you. Um, so I'm not really comparing. Um, I, I'm trying not to compare people against one another. Oops. Um, we've only we can only do 15 minute videos here. We have to break them up. So I'm told that it is time to break up our video here. So we are about to end our video, and uh, we'll start the next section here in a little bit, um, and we're going to start this from exactly where we are right now. Uh, um,